Pheasant in School. And I've been working on a project called the Helicone for a long time, since last spring, when I first saw the work of John Edmark and, uh, and purchased this off Amazon called the Helicone. It emanated from a, a project with my honors geometry students on the golden angle. Golden angle, the ratio between petals and plants. And I was fascinated by this little hand toy that I just couldn't get enough of. About the same time, students were using spinners all the time and bearings are very accessible. The little 22 millimeter bearings that are used in skateboards. And so I'd worked on a little, little spinner, um, just a hand spinner type thing. And then I said, let's use these bearings and try to make something a little bit bigger. A larger version of this that could be interactive for the Pheasant School because we are an elementary school and I thought it'd be great if students could interact. So we went through many iterations, many different types of uh, mechanisms to make it spin and stop at precisely the golden angle. And so this is the fi final product, I think. And so you can see that there are joints that are right here. So I do the pedals separately and I created all the mechanisms, uh, approximately 30 different layers and the bearing fits in the back here. And decided to use a bike chain as a mechanism to get the hands out of the way of the spinning apparatus and also to protect the chain, I created a nice big plate on the top and, and a chain guard over here at the base. And the idea is to spin this. And it creates this double helix, just like what happens on the helicone here. And you can spin it fast as you want and it goes this way one way to close up I would consider this the closed position and this way to make a bush